Welcome to Currency Forward Contracts. Currency Forward Contract is an agreement between two parties to exchange a fixed amount of one currency for another at an agreed upon future date. The exchange rate for the future transactions is fixed in advance at the time of signing the agreement. Currency forward contracts can be either outright forwards or non-deliverable forwards. An outright forward contract calls for future transaction where the two currencies are actually exchanged. A non-deliverable forward contract or NDF is settled in a single currency such as the US dollar. Both types of forward contracts can be used for speculation or risk management. This tutorial discusses outright forward contracts. Let's consider a US technology company that just delivered an order to a UK customer and is expecting a payment of 10 million British pounds in 90 days. Let's assume that the current spot rate is $1.60 per pound. So in 90 days, the exporter would expect to get 16 million US dollars at the current spot rate. However, the exporter is concerned that the pound may decline in 90 days in the spot market. For example, if the spot rate moves to $1.56 per pound when the payment is received in 90 days, the exporter would actually get 15,600,000 US dollars or $400,000 less than originally anticipated. To manage the potential risk of $400,000, the exporter enters into a forward contract with a bank. The bank quotes the 90-day forward rate of $1.15950 per pound for purchasing pounds and the two parties make the following agreement today. At t equals 90, the exporter will deliver to the bank an amount of 10 million pounds. The bank will deliver to the exporter a dollar amount of 15,950,000. Here's a timeline to visualize the cash flows. The current spot rate is $1.60 and the expected receivable amount in 90 days is 10 million pounds. The 90-day forward rate at t equals zero is $1.5950 per pound. Notice the forward rate is different than the current spot rate, and this is very common. At t equals 90, the exporter agrees to deliver 10 million pounds to the bank. Also at t equals 90, the bank agrees to deliver $15,950,000 to the exporter. No transaction takes place at the signing of the contract. Now let's fast forward to t equals 90. If everything goes as expected, the exporter receives 10 million pounds from the UK importer. The exporter delivers the amount to the bank per the forward contract. The bank delivers the agreed upon amount of 15,950,000 to the exporter. Let's consider other possible scenarios. Contrary to the exporter's fears, the pound could actually appreciate at the spot market in 90 days to $1.61 per pound. This means the exporter has to forego the appreciation of one cent per pound compared to the original spot rate of $1.60. This is the nature of a forward contract. Another drawback for the exporter would be the failure of the UK customer to make the payment when promised. Should that happen, the exporter would still have to deliver the 10 million pounds to the bank as promised. Finally, let's look into calculations of forward rate premiums or discounts. In this example, the spot rate at t equals zero was $1.60 per pound and the 90-day forward rate was $1.5950 per pound. Since the forward rate on the pound is lower than the spot rate, the pound is selling at a forward discount. We can calculate the annual discount on the pound 
by using the following formula. Notice we are multiplying by 4 to convert the quarterly discount to the annual discount. If the pound is selling at a forward discount, the dollar is selling at a forward premium. The premium can be calculated by using the following formula. Again, we are multiplying by 4 to convert the quarterly premium to the annual premium. In summary, a currency forward contract allows two parties to lock in an exchange rate for a future transaction. Currency forward contract can be used for speculation or risk management. No money is exchanged at the time of signing the agreement. To manage the downside risk, any potential gain is sacrificed. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it useful.